بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دی نیم آف اللہ دی موسٹ مرسیفل دی موسٹ کائنڈ السلام علیکم ڈیئر ویورز ہوپ یو ول بی فائن گاڈ بلیس یو آل مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر عبد المالک پی ایچ ڈی فارماکالوجی اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر کالج آف فارمیسی یونیورسٹی آف سرگودا سرگودا پاکستان ہیئر از دی ٹائٹل آف مائی پریزنٹیشن کووڈ نائنٹین اینڈ ڈائبٹیز ناؤ کمنگ ٹو دی آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر ود یو اباؤٹ کووڈ نائنٹین اینڈ ڈائبٹیز ہیئر از دی کنٹینٹس کووڈ نائنٹین اینڈ ڈائبٹیز ٹو میجر پورشنس اور پارٹس آر دیئر ناؤ انٹروڈکشن آف دی کووڈ نائنٹین کرونا ویرس ویرسز آر انویلپڈ ویرس ویرسز ود اے سنگل اسٹینڈرڈ پازیٹو سینس آر این اے جینوم نون ٹو کاز ریسپائریٹری انفیکشنز ان ہیومنس ان دسمبر ٹو تھاؤزنڈ نائنٹین اے ناول کرونا ویرس سارس کوف ٹو واز آئیڈینٹیفائڈ ایز دی پیتھوجن کازنگ کووڈ نائنٹین ان وہان سٹی آف چائنا آن مارچ الیون ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی کووڈ نائنٹین واز ڈکلیئرڈ اے پینڈیمک بائی ڈائبٹیز ملائٹس ہائپر ٹینشن اینڈ سویئر اوبیسٹی آر مور لائکلی ٹو بی انفیکٹڈ اینڈ آر ایٹ اے ہائر رسک فار کمپلیکیشن اینڈ ڈیتھ فرام کووڈ نائنٹین انٹرسٹنگلی دیئر واز اے سملر انکریز رسک فار سارس کو سارس اینڈ مرس ان انڈیویجول ود ڈائبٹیز ملائٹس سو کمنگ ٹو دی اسٹرکچر آف دی کووڈ نائنٹین وائرس اٹ کنٹین پازیٹو پازیٹو and the membrane proteins are there, hemagglutinin uh, uh, asterases is there, spike glycoproteins and the membrane uh, protein E is shown here. So now coming to the major symptoms of COVID-19 uh, with the upper and lower respiratory tract in, uh, problems and some other places in the body. So 88% fever is there and uh, dry cough is mostly 68% and the fatigue is 38%, mucus production is 33%, shortness of breath 19% and sore throat and muscle pain 15%. Now how this COVID-19 enter in the cell and it uh, ex uh, express which receptors in the body? So it enters through Uh, angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors and TM press 2 receptors these combine and enter the uh, in alveoli and causes the overexpression of angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2 mostly and these this causes cardiovascular problem and respiratory problem so coming to the prevalence of covid-19 from 18 7 2020 in the total uh, confirmed cases in the world 14 million 279,917 and in the confirmed cases in Pakistan uh, is 2,61,917 so people who are at high risk for severe illness based on high risk for severe illness from COVID-19 are people 65 years and old people of all ages with underlying medical condition including chronic lung disease or moderate to severe asthma with serious heart conditions, ischemic conditions with severe obesity, more BMI, body mass index more than 40 or higher with diabetes, mellitus, type 1 or type 2 with chronic kidney disease undergoing dialysis with liver diseases immunocompromised like cancer treatment, smoking, organ transplantation, immune deficiencies, HIV or AIDS and prolonged use of corticosteroid like dexamethasone. Now coming to the prevalence of diabetes in COVID-19 patients in the United States, 34.2 million or 10.5% of the total population have diabetes mellitus among those aged 65 and years or older. population a population a, at higher risk for the death from covid-19 is 26.8 uh, percent have diabetes mellitus now
now we will see although these estimates are preliminary and likely to change and considering the prevalence of diabetes mellitus hypertension and severe obesity in us and the substantial increased risk for covid-19 and its complication in patients with these conditions it is likely to be pandemic has the potential to cause significant mortality and morbidity now coming to the diabetes and covid-19 diabetes are more diabetics are more prone to covid-19 which leads to pneumonia the chances of secondary bacterial infection complicating the viral pneumonia is there recent studies have shown that of those hospitalized for so diabetes and covid-19 recent studies have shown that of, of those hospitalized for severe disease 22.2% to 26.9% reported living with diabetes diabetes and high glucose levels are associated with increased complications respiratory failure and mortality in hospitalized patient with covid-19 obesity is major risk factor obesity is chronic long life long condition that results from the interaction between heritable factors with environmental influences excess fat accumulation due to an imbalance between energy intake and expenditure causes obesity the increasing prevalence of obesity is recognized as a major risk for a variety of diseases including type 2 diabetes cardiovascular diseases cancer and musculoskeletal uh, disorders given that obesity is driving force behind the, the diabetes epidemic better adherence to exercise and diet regimes as well as safe effective and durable weight loss therapies are needed so some major complications of uh, diabetes mellitus include neuropathy retinopathy hypertension dyslipidemia gestational diabetes mellitus diabetic foot condition problem and nephropathy and ischemic heart diseases are there so coming to this potative are uh, some supposed mechanisms contributing to increase susceptibility for covid-19 in patient with diabetes mellitus this very essential mechanism that is showing about the corona virus that interact with the diabetes patient so here we see corona virus entry how it enters uh, into the respiratory tract infection the uh, infection of the respiratory epithelium and further it causes necrosis of the respiratory epithelium mucus production and increased capillary permeability and further it causes pneumonia pneumonia also causes ARDs systemic inflammation and multi organ dysfunction on the other hand if we see this infection can spread to other places or uh, this go towards the impaired macrophages it can cause and impaired neutrophil uh recruitment and impaired interferon gamma production from natural killer cells and further it uh, also uh, impaired antigen presentation cd8 positive t lymphocyte and dendritic cell cd positive t lymphocyte the cd4 positive t lymphocyte and further th1 cells and th17 cells are also disturbed and, and increases cytokine cytokine storm which causes further pneumonia and ARD systemic inflammation and dysregulation of immune system and further it also causes acute renal uh, renal injury on the other hand if we see increase as2 uh, expression angiotensin converting enzyme in expression it directly causes cardiac dysfunction so this is the major uh, mechanisms involved in covid-19 patient with diabetes mellitus patients so coming to the cardiovascular in involvement this figure is very essential very important we can understand we can learn from here we see sars cov uh, virus enters uh, and it causes directly uh, problem in the uh, heart and also it causes endothelial dysfunction in arteries in coronary arteries and other places so at uh, coronary arteries if we see these directly or indirectly coronary artery disease uh, endothelial uh, cells 
causes microvascular dysfunction and macrovascular dysfunction which causes the acute coronary syndrome on the other hand if we see the viral in vn go into the lungs and further it causes inflammation or metabolic activity is increased and towards the heart fulminant myocarditis it can cause t cell uh, cytokine production is increased macrophages cd206 immune activation is there and further it uh, increases the myocarditis and uh, lactate dehydrogenase ck enzymes troponin 1 are uh, also increases and myocardial cardiac damage is shown and which causes myocarditis so from these different mechanisms which contribute to increase interleukin 6 interleukin 7 interleukin 22 cxcl10 and further it also plague instability rupture this one and this also contribute to the acute coronary syndrome and macrovascular complication of the heart and on the other hand this myocardial damage directly causes heart failure myocarditis or arrhythmia myocardial dysfunction damage can cause arrhythmia this is again cardiovascular involvement in diabetic patient now now we see the preventive measures against covid 19 so prevention is uh, very essential very important uh, and uh, mask wearing mask is very essential and the taking medicines or vaccines is also essential for prevention measures on the other hand maintain your this is the mask shown and the different drugs that is being taken or vaccine trial can be checked on the other hand maintain your heart maintain your uh, cardiovascular or diabetic uh, condition and boost your immunity to manage yourself against this virus patient information is essential part that is risk factors for SARS-CoV-2 should be detected specific COVID-19 guidelines disseminated and lifestyle management treatment interaction with COVID-19 therapeutics and chronic treatment management warning symptoms of SARS-CoV-2 so maintain healthy lifestyle is essential first of all we see about the healthy diet if we control the healthy diet uh, with a healthy vegetables and fruits that is better and intake of water is very important and essential on the other hand if you see we should control circadian rhythm uh, and our sleep timing should be maintained on the other hand vitamin d should be maintained and it increases the immunity of the body and finally we should uh, take exercise daily to save from uh, coronavirus so coming to the potential therapies we see the major three stages are there stage one early infections stage two pulmonary phase and stage three hyperinflammatory inflammation phase and we can apply our clinical symptoms mild may be mild and shortness of breath may be there and ARDs or shock may happen and cardiac failure can happen in this stage three what are the potential uh, therapies we can see remdesivir chloroquine hydroxychloroquine covalent plasma tra uh, transfusion and reduce immunosuppression corticosteroid like dexamethasone can be given human immunoglobulins can be given interleukin 6 inhibitors interleukin 2 inhibitors jak inhibitors can be given to save the pa patient life now some uh, treatment options for covid 19 patients including ectoderma drug that is tocilizumab and remdesivir or uh, injectable formulation available and some other drugs are also being uh, trialed uh, trial uh, under um, trials and the dexamethasone is available for emergency patients now for prophylactic measures or vaccines uh, if we see more than 90 vaccines are being developed against covid-19 by research teams and companies and universities across the world at least six groups have already begun injecting formulation into volunteers and safety trials others have started testing in animals 
nature's graphical guide explains each vaccine design vaccine virus vaccines weakened virus inactivated virus nucleic acid vaccines vector vaccines viral protein vaccines now thank you very much stay safe stay at home and subscribe my channel and like my videos thank